Hello, my friends. Today I have a workout for you that's really wonderful for lymph flow and circulation. But to be fair, I wanna let you know that even though this workout requires a rebounder or some kind of mini trampoline, really, to be fair, any movement is great for your circulation and lymph flow. As long as you're moving your body, you're getting your circulation of your blood and also your lymph fluid going throughout your body. So all movement is good for circulation and lymph, but trampolines, rebounders are amazing. So I recently got my rebounder and I love it. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any particular company. I just happen to love my Bellicon, but I do recommend finding a trampoline that has a nice soft surface. It's not super hard. I personally find that these elastic bungees make for a really nice surface to bounce on rather than more of the spring type of coils. So that's just my preference. And I wanna let you know that if you have pelvic floor issues, you can absolutely bounce lightly on the trampoline and I'll show you. This is a very pelvic floor friendly workout. And to keep it pelvic friendly, the a focus of the workout is going to be alignment, also breath, and strangely enough, relaxation. I don't want you to be clenched and tight through your core and your pelvic floor the whole time. We want muscles that are supple and responsive and alive. Just like your leg muscles, you're not thinking of keeping them clenched the entire time when you're bouncing or running outside. They respond to the movement. Same thing with your pelvic floor. You don't wanna think of keeping it tight and clenched like this. It should be alive and on but not clenched. So let's go ahead and step onto the trampoline. And I wanna let you know that my head might be cut off for a lot of this workout. So hopefully you can see my body just fine when I am on the trampoline. So step on carefully and you want to separate your toes nice and wide, strong through your feet, and really get a nice situation in the center of your trampoline where you feel really stable and secure. Lift it through the arches of your feet active through your toes. And I want you to think about just gently engaging your core without clenching. So we're not clenching, but we're waking things up. So feel as if you're blowing out a candle that's in front of you. As you do that, you should feel that gentle activation of the low abs and the lift of your pelvic floor. It's a nice lift and drawing in right here, but it's not a clench. I also want you to soften your knees. Now that you have this awake core, I want you to think about bouncing from your awake and alive core without any type of clenching at all, okay? So bounce from your alive core, no clenching, just alive. Now the bounce you can see, I'm not even leaving the ground. I'm not leaving my mat at all. I'm just really keeping my knees soft and I'm just bouncing, bouncing, waking up my muscles, waking up my joints without any impact at all. Now relax your jaw. Your feet are staying on the mat the whole time. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. And we're gonna begin with some arm movements. So I want you to bring your arms out to the side and just leave them out to the side as you bounce. So we're, we're getting our posture active and alive by waking up our shoulders and think about drawing the shoulder blades together on your back as well. Keep your head lifted and tall and let's just go out, 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 out. Keep going. You see my feet are still not even leaving the trampoline. And if you want to, you can bounce all the way off, but I'm just starting by waking up the shoulders, waking up the muscles of the mid back, waking up my whole core without clenching anything. Keep breathing. Now let's do one arm at a time reaching up. So reach, reach. Working on the postural muscles, working on getting the circulation going. Keep breathing, reach, reach, reach. One more each side. Now let's bring our arms up and down, up and down. It's like our arms are going up into a Y and then down into a W, elbows at your sides, up and down, up and down. Feel your shoulder blades squeezing together as you come down, up and then down, up and down. Four more, four, 
three, two, keep breathing, knees are soft, one, and down. Now roll forward and back, forward and back. So good, waking up the postural muscles. Keep those knees gently bent. You're leaning forward just a tiny bit so that you're not you know, leaning back because we don't want you to tip over backwards. Keep your spine long. Do not ever round and hunch your spine like this. We want to be nice and long through the spine, lifted through the heart. Keep going. And four more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, arms down, just nice and loose. And let's see if we want to add a little tiny bit of a bounce. Now, how does that feel if you just have your heels leave the ground or leave the mat just a little tiny bit? So now your whole foot's not on the thing, just the top of your feet are on the thing, the mat. So just the top of your feet, but your heels are leaving. Knees are really soft. Let's just try one heel at a time. So bounce and keeping your pelvic floor again, alive and awake, but not clenched. Now I want you to think of noticing this whole time your pelvic floor and making sure that if you feel any symptoms like any pressure or heaviness or certainly any bladder leakage then that's your signal that you've reached your limit and that's okay it just means you're in a building phase now if you find that you find that that find that limit then carefully step off and you can work back up to more later listen to your body and if you find you've reached your limit stop but if you're good and you want more then let's try to do this a little bit wider. So wide legs, lifting one heel and then the other, still active and alive through the core. Let's bring our arms into it. So out, 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 four, three, two, back to the Y's. So up, down, four more, four, three, two, then to the rows. So forward, back. Nice. Keep going. And four, three, two, one. Okay, nice job. Come back to the middle and just come back to our bouncing, keeping your flat foot on the mat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stand on our right leg and go forward and back with the left leg. So you're going to feel this in your right leg. So here we go. Be, you know, a little bit more active through the core because this does require balance. So make sure you're in the center of your mat with your right leg and let's go forward and back with the left. Forward, back, forward, back. So my right leg is staying still, but my left leg is going forward and back with the whole flat foot. So you're really having to work that right leg. My knee is softly bent. Keep breathing, keep breathing. <sighs> Alignment is tall. You're slightly bent at your hips, just a little bit of a pitch forward so that you're not leaned back. I don't want anyone falling off their mat. Keep going. And five, four, three, two, one. And come to the middle. Bounce, bounce, bounce. You can keep your feet on the mat. Let's go to the other side. So come to the center with your left foot, strong and lifted through the core, and now right foot goes forward and back. So my left foot's not even leaving the mat. It's just my right foot going forward and back. Keep going. Really working that left leg. Knee is bent. Spine is long, no hunching. Woo! And five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the middle. Now we are going to do switch jumps, so like a scissor. Now this will take a little bit of leaving the mat with our feet. So Go ahead and gently activate your core a little extra, pelvic floor lifts, low abs pull in, and switch, switch, switch. Get those arms moving. Again, it's like your feet are on railroad tracks and you're very gently leaned forward at your hips. 
so that you're leaning forward and, and not backwards. Keep going, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the middle and slow it down. Slow it down, slow it down. Nice job. Roll your shoulders back. And let's go ahead and go out to the side with one leg at a time. So come to the middle with your right leg a little bit, mostly to the middle. Actually, let's go a little bit. Let's go a little bit to the right, <laughs> not straight in the middle. So a little bit to the right of your mat, but not all the way on the edge. And let's go ahead and gently engage the core. And the left leg is going to go out to the side and in, out, in, out, in, out, in. My right leg, the knee is bent and it's really just staying in one place, but it's bouncing, bounce, bounce, bounce. Keep going. Keep going. Let's add an arm. Eight, seven, keep that knee stable. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to the middle. Ooh, bounce it out, bounce it out, bounce it out. Now let's step just a little bit to the left side of the mat. And same thing, other side. So you're active through the core. And now the right leg goes out, out, in, out, in, out, in. Keep going. Oh, I feel so good. This leg is strong. Knee is slightly bent. The only leg moving is the right leg right now, this leg. Out and in, out and in, add the arm. Out, in, out, in. It takes a lot of control. It's like one of those controls where you're strong and controlled, but yet you're also active and alive. You're not clenched. Two, one, now come to the middle. Okay, just a gentle bounce, slow it down. Now, we're gonna do an out, in, jump, but we're gonna cross our legs. Out, cross, out, cross, okay? Are you ready for this? Here it goes. Start with your arms, just like I am, so you can get the pattern going. So out and then cross, out, cross the other way. Out and cross, out and cross the other way. Do that with your legs. So here we go. And we go out, cross, out, cross. If that's too much, just go out and in. That's okay too. And if you need to, you can also step to the side, step to the side. But I'm gonna go back to the full move. Out, cross, out, cross. You are active through your core, but you're not clenched. Keep breathing. Even though you might feel like you want to hold your breath, don't do it. Keep breathing. Keep gently pitched forward right here at your hips so you're not leaning back. We don't want that. Long through the spine. And four, three, two, one. Come back to the middle Ooh, and slow it down. Maybe a little heel drops and we're almost done. Let's go ahead and do a jump forward and back with both legs together, and then we'll do a twist. So heel drops right now, heel drops. Roll out your shoulders. And here we go. We're gonna keep both legs together. So make the bounce a little bit bigger now, a little bit bigger, alive through the core, alive through the core. Go forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. You see how I'm slightly pitched forward at my hips and my spine is long. I'm not rounding my back or tucking my bum under. This makes it really good for your pelvic floor. Keep those legs close together. Bring the arms in. Four, three, two, one, come to the middle and twist, 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 twist. It's like you're wringing out your core, wring it out. Maybe you can even make your arms straight, going in the opposite direction of your knees. And four, three, two, one. And now slow down the bounces, slow it down, slow it down. Just one heel lifts at a time. 
breathe deeply into your core, into your whole core, your pelvic floor, into your back, and widen out your legs. <sighs> and little bounces with knees soft, nice and slow. I want you to bring your arms up, inhale, and exhale. And inhale up, and exhale. And come to the middle of your mat. <sighs> Shake it out. Couple little hip circles here. So circle out your hips. Knees are nice and bent. And we're just gonna stretch to end this. So what we're gonna do is use a decompression breath. That's where you exhale all your air out before you fold forward. So go the other way with your hip circles. Circling around. And again, we're gonna fold forward and bend your knees, but fold forward and hold onto the bar of your trampoline, your frame. And before you fold, exhale all your air out. So here we go, bend the knees, exhale all your air out, and fold forward. Touch the bar, see if you can kind of lean back, and this is a really nice stretch for your uh, shoulders too. So you can straighten one knee at a time just a little bit and lean back a little. It's not so much that you're going to flip over, we don't want that, but just a gentle leaning back so that you really stretch out those shoulders. Knees are bent. Now if you can, let's come down into a malasana, a deep squat. So my heels are a little bit lifted and I'm holding onto the frame and I'm really pitched forward here. So in this position, bring one knee down and the other knee up and then switch sides, one knee down and the other knee up. For some people, this is not gonna feel good on their pelvic floor, but for others, they can do this and it feels really good when they keep their back long and they're not roundy, hunchy like this. We don't ever want that, but if you can keep your spine long, this will feel really good. One more time, and we'll end with a child's pose and call it a day. So come on to the side, Bring your knees under you, inhale, and then exhale. Sit all the way back and stretch your arms forward. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe even walk your hands to one side and then the other. And come up to the middle. Ah. Nice job, take a couple of deep breaths, seated on your mat, and just know that if this was new to you and you need to work up to longer sessions, that's totally okay. You know, take your time working up to bigger bounces and longer sessions, and if you need support going through some foundational core strengthening, check the video description for my programs and courses. They'll really help you out. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Until then, remember to eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. Thanks for watching.